the times are tough. So uh, obviously we had to make some budget cuts uh, through this uh, conference, right? So also for these 15 minutes that we're waiting, we had to do a bit of a budget cut. So I'm just going to be here on stage. <laughs> what I thought I'd do is a few fake startups. Let's see um, some unicorns that are still waiting to rise from the dust and make uh, the news and make millions. Obviously, I'm not here to pitch them myself. I thought there's so many like veterans here, you know, they come here every year. They're like oh, early stage startups pitching. They're here to judge. They're always here to give feedback. And, you know, like your idea is not great. Come back next year. But are they standing on this stage themselves, hands shaking? They don't know what to say. The slides are messed up. No. But today, <laughs> we're going to put them on the spot. I do need to say this idea was born yesterday at the after party. Who was there? Yep. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. So you might have heard me uh, <laughs> making this <laughs> stunt happen. Also, I'm going to invite our um, uh, head of the board of Latitude 59 here. He did agree to do this yesterday, where he had had a few gin and tonics. <laughs> He's not too sure, sure of it today anymore. But let's give him a warm welcome as well. Yes. You're wearing already the, do you have a, do you have a microphone also? I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's very sure. So, easy, what's going to happen? I have a fake startup. I am also going to be clicking myself. Uh, does One, it work? One, two, three. It, yeah. It doesn't work. So. It, uh, wait, wait, I, I don't get a clicker even. No, I click for you. So this is, uh, we're going to put three minutes on the clock for him. And we're going to hear the best startup pitch ever, because Fritz Alma, also the co-founder of Latitude, has been here for years judging Eight. other people <laughs> doing the pitches. So now it's his turn to show how it's done. And I haven't seen the slides. I don't know what's coming, yes. I did say to Brit, like, do you want to go through them, you know, like a few seconds just to see them? He's like, no. I will just come on the stage as a professional <laughs> and <laughs> I was very this. drunk yesterday. So, I'm so sorry, everybody. First of all, we're going to give him a big applause. <laughs> yeah. Here are the slides, yes. You are happy that you are happy that you had the gin and tonics yesterday. So there are your three minutes. Okay. And go. Hello everybody, my name is Mick Saar and I'm going to produce, uh, not produce, but show you the <laughs> team Todluenser. So marketing in 2020 is super tough. We all have this problem, not only startups, but corporates. You have to do all this shit, as we heard from the previous pitches. You have to do social media, affiliate marketing, banner ads, printed posters, door-to-door -door sales, and you have tried them all. And this is a big problem. So what is a best fucking solution to this problem? <laughs> Baby influencers. Baby influencers. Baby influencers. The reason is that they are adorable. Everybody likes cats. Who doesn't like babies? I have three of them. So my babies will be on the market for you to procure. So you have like, they have the best, can you, can you go slower, please? <laughs> My slides okay. are a little bit messed up. Sorry, give it to me, baby. Yeah, so um, you can find through our platform. So our solution is that we're going to build a platform and you can find the right baby influencer for your brand, either for mobility, a small boy, or for uh, selling, uh, <laughs> verification features, another small boy, uh, and you can reach your dream, dream audience because who wouldn't, again, who wouldn't love babies? <laughs> this solution is obviously global. We are providing this service, those babies, in every country, every continent, for every brand, anywhere. So, what are the next steps, you might ask? We already have raised our seed round, but for next, we are... Wait, <laughs> I'm not there. For next, we're going to... Where is my team slide? 
For the next thing, we're going to fundraise uh, only maybe 10 million euros for um, only a 100 million market uh, valuation. And uh, we're going to build up our team from already Cambridge uh, Analytica guys and the other famous people from the other side of the pond. And we're going to conquer the world with baby influencers. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Full professional. Full professional. You, said, you said that I will have shit on the slides, but you didn't. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Audience? Any questions? Yes. Sir. Yes. Kittens. Kittens are my competition. <laughs> But we're going to buy them. Next question. Make, make Obviously, more. make them more. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, have sex. After nine months, we can, we can all do it together, by the way. <laughs> it's an affiliate program. All Next right. question. Wait. Uh, <laughs> stop him. <laughs> yeah. He's getting into it. <laughs> yes. I just I, I had not, not time to think. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, by the way. But I would like you yes. to nominate the next person because this stage is obviously for veterans. And I have more. I have more uh, How many? Uh, just so you can okay, nominate I, one. I can nominate one. I know there is an amazing pitch coach in this... Uh, in this audience. His name is Gleb, please come on the stage. <laughs> and I see he has accepted the challenge. Can I, can we have the second slide? Thank you, Fried, amazing! <laughs> You've been working out. <laughs> Thank you, Gleb. Well, people don't know, it's Kai Askman is doing the break. And I said, I'll think about it. Well, I guess I have no choice in the matter today. So if I got the rules and engagement, I'll look at the slides and pitch. All right. Investor Go is something I've been working on for the past five years. It allows people to look at people and catch them in real time. Now, well, here's the kicker. Here's the thing that can really, really get you excited. When you catch a person, you cannot let them go. You have to bring them closer to your heart. And the best thing is you can monetize it. Now, I don't know what, I'm what the heck I'm talking about. Oh, cool. Well, what happens is when you want to catch a person, when you want to catch an investor, you need to know who they are. You need to figure out what they want. You need to go get to know them as people. But the thing is, they hide. They don't want to meet you. They all have these fancy dinners. <laughs> I guess the only special place to get that real intimate connection is the restroom. But we all know how it's like. You kind of want to look people in the eye, but you can't. You want to really connect with them on a deeper level. But here's some stats for to prove it. You know, when you got them in that intimate context and you want that money, you got to see what the real deal is. And the odds are not in your favor. Sometimes it's an odd man out. They might look like they have some money, got a fancy Rolex, but they're completely broke. And then you have people who do have money. All right. There's some really good names here. I'm going to put it like this. Think Game of Thrones. Think Game of Thrones. And you have one throne, one cap table. <laughs> but the thing is, imagine you have several people sitting on this throne. Not one. You don't have Daenerys. You don't have the dragons. You don't have the wolves or the Starks. But they're all sharing the throne. So that's the kind of situation we're looking at right now. And you've got to team up with the right ones. Be that karma with their love for Team Tech. Practica that loves their wellness and dabbles in a few SaaS companies, or Nordic Ninja with Mr. Marakisa. Point of the matter is, you gotta connect with them. But to connect with them, <laughs> is that Tim? <laughs> Very good photo, Tim. To connect with them, you gotta find this guy. 
because he knows all the things about them, all the things they like, the restrooms they go to, the dinners they go to, so he can really fall in love because this is what it's about. So my pitch to you, my ask, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you really want to connect with those people, will be that Nordic Ninja, Practical Capital, Karma Ventures, you can use our application to navigate all the locations, all the special locations in the city, and fall in love with those investors. Because, well, there's a special, special thing happens. They might give you money, they might not give you money, but might tell you no, but you might make a friend for a lifetime. Or some free advice, or a hoodie, or maybe a hug. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. This is... <laughs> Thank you, Gleb. That was amazing. Do we have questions to Gleb? That was a good, you know? Q&A, oh, I forgot. I teach Q&As, I should remember. <laughs> All right. Filtering, that's a very, very good question coming from the lady here. Now, this lady seems she's been in the business somehow. Now, filtering, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very good feature we've been building with a team of really profound deep tech data scientists who are able to give us that algorithm to find people. So if you want to meet Kai, you can go on the app. You can catch and her. Swipe. <laughs> oh, no, that's another app. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's say I want somebody funny. I want somebody charming. Somebody, well, Estonian. All right? And I can put a little filter. And this app allows me to catch her. So we're working on it, miss. I'd love to get back to you and introduce us to a new demo. We're going to be working on that. So thank you for a very, very good question. Anybody else? How the fourth generation is going to happen? The lead generation. I like this question, it's a nice question. Talks about what it could be. Well, you know, we're pretty clandestine about this. We're pretty, we don't wanna share everything. But I'll give you a sneak peek because you're, because you're asking so nicely. The next thing we're gonna build, imagine Pokemon Go. Imagine that. Meaning Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I, th I think it's a great answer. Thank you, Gleb. If you don't know, Gleb is pitch coaching like thousands of teams, and now we know where the magic comes from. So thank you, Gleb. Thank you. Woo!